Hey guys, it's your boy D Valo back with some more boxing. So this is a matchup. Mikey Garcia versus Adrian Broner this July the 29th. Now this is one that's left me with more questions than answers. When this first when this fight was first being talked about, before it was official, um I thought to myself, yeah, Mikey Garcia, free world um free weight champion. He wants to fight a big name in boxing now. Um, he's a lightweight. Adrian Broner, you know, he's doing a big name in boxing that we all know about. He probably needs the money and wants to fight. Weight was the big factor, though. I was thinking that, which weight is this going to be? Because I know that my Gar Garcia is a lightweight and Broner is a welterweight, but he hardly even make, can even make that weight. So when I saw that this catch weight was at 140, alarm bells started ringing for me. My first big question is, how is Broner even going to make that weight? And my second question is, Mikey Garcia knows that Adrian Broner can't make that weight. So why did he agree to take the fight? Now, when I did some research on both of these fighters, Mikey Garcia said that he saw the fight, thought that it was lucrative. And basically, he saw the glory. He saw the glory of beating someone like Adrian Broner and thought, you know what? I know that he can't really make this weight, so let me try and bring him down, and then I can outbox him. That is his strategy. He even said it himself that he thinks he can outbox Adrian Broner. I know that even though Adrian Broner struggles to make weight, I can't see him outboxing Broner. Because Broner has got skills, but he's, uh, I wasn't impressed by his last performance at welterweight. So we got this big question about weight now. Adrian Bronos was walking around at 180 and he just managed to make Welter to beat Antonio Orozco in a split decision, which to be honest, I wasn't really feeling. I, I, that wasn't the comeback, f that um, victory that um, I was expecting from Broner. But anyway, he didn't. He just about made that weight. So how's he going to make 140? He says... Now that he's walking around at 150, so he's in relatively good shape. But if you look at this picture between these two fighters, you can see that he, Broner is visibly the bigger man. Like if you look at his shoulders, how broad his shoulders are, even his look how big his arms are, even his head. I know he's got that big fluffy beard on, but you can see that Broner's the bigger man. Garcia's looking more lean and uh yeah, looking more lean and, and uh, skinny. Not skinny, but he's, he looks like he's naturally a, light, a lighter guy. So I was thinking, why would you want to... He, and Garcia has made it clear that I am a lightweight. But he agreed to make this fight at 140. So how is he going to be, man? I mean, the difference between a, a lightweight and, and um, 140 is not that much. But at the same time... How will it? How will this affect him? Because since he's never really fought up at this weight, he's had chances to fight at this weight for sure. He's had chances to he 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 could have fought Terence Crawford. Terence Crawford put it out publicly. Yeah, I'll take the fight. He didn't want to take that fight. He's even had chances to. He says he wants to unify the division at lightweight. Uh, there was some kind of politics going on where um, Jorge Halant and Naris couldn't fight him um, this summer and um, Terry Flanagan has already got a mandatory so he's thinking I want to stay busy so he's, he's Terry picked
that that bone is actually bigger there. He's actually bigger than him. So, Mikey Garcia's lightweight power is it going to be able to trouble him? But, um, Bona can't take welterweight punches. He can't take someone like Sean Porter or Maldana at welterweight. Because that's not really his weight. That's when he's just bulking on, bulking on muscle, you know. But now, this will be at 140. So, really and truly, these two should be. If Bona was serious, he could make that weight and be in. bring his A game to this fight. If he bang his A game to this fight, I'll see him. I can see him beating Garcia. But if he doesn't even make this weight, there's going to be all sorts of fines involved if he doesn't make the weight and what. And like all, all the politics in it, I'm sure he would want to. But if he doesn't, I feel like Garcia would just be like, you know what, I tried to get this fight. He'll pull out. He'll be like, oh, you know what, I tried to take this fight with this guy at um that 140. But I've already said that I'm a lightweight. So you know what, I'm going to focus more on getting and unifying the lightweight division because I'm a champion. I, you know what I mean? I can see him saying something like that because he's already saying that he's making it very clear that he's a lightweight, almost as an excuse to say, well, if if I lose, then, you know, this ain't my weight, you get me? So it will be 36 and what, one, but it will be 36 wins undefeated at, um, at light, um, in my weight. You know what I mean? Similar to how Kel Brook was going on before he fought at all Spence. You know, I'm, I'm undefeated in a worldweight division. But he, he, know, he better know what he's getting into because if Brona actually makes that weight, I, he's gonna be, he's gonna be bigger, stronger, and uh, you know what Brona's like. He likes to bully. He, he likes to bully people around. He likes to fight people that try and outbox him. That's when he looks his best. So probably when he got this fight, he thought to himself, "Yeah, weight making one forty is a is a drag, but." If I do make well 40, I'm going to make this guy look stupid. And it actually makes him look good. So where's Garcia's there looking for the glory? Thinking about the glory. Is he really thinking about what could actually happen in this fight? And what would happen if he loses? Because he's trying to say that if I lose, then you know what? I'm not part of this weight. But people would say, they'll be like, oh, well, Mikey Garcia is not that great anyway. He's got, he's got no power or or his boxing skills are not great, or whatever. It's like, oh, and Mikey Garcia is scared of scared of fighting at one forty, so he will be stuck at one at one forty five forever. You know what I mean? And then, if he does get to fight someone like Jorge Linares, if he loses, no one would even care about him. You know, so a lot of rides on this. If Garcia wins, then he gets the limelight. If Broner wins then, you know, nobody cares about Garcia anymore, and uh, he go back, he'll go back to lightweight, and uh, I, I reckon people would watch him again at lightweight, but that will put everything to bed, you know, 140 will still be the, the division, and uh, Terrence Corfu will still have not had a big fight yet, <laughs> I, I know people, when I talk about Terrence Corfu being boring, people are like, what, what kind of, what kind of, what, what fights have you been watching? You know, but I, I, you know, I like Crawford. I like the way he fights and outboxes people. But I mean, knocking him out. I mean, he could have knocked out. This is slightly off topic here, but um, if you're still listening, it's an interesting subject. If you're still listening, tell me what you think. Well, anyway, in that last fight with Crawford, yeah, he could have knocked this guy out. I mean, he's not even a southpaw. And he beat a champion who's in Southport, you know, so that's a big statement. He could have knocked this guy out. He, 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 like, he, both of his eyes were closed shut before the stoppage. But I'm sure that Crawford could have knocked him out. But why didn't he? You know, I, I, I could see that he outboxed him. He done that for every single round. Why didn't he knock him out at the end? Drop it in the comments and let me know. So anyway, these two are going to be fighting July the 29th. Mikey Garcia, Adrian Broner. Let me know your thoughts. It's your boy, D-Valo, and I'm out.